What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing the newest Aaron Sherry Cask Bodega. This is 55.8%. There's no bottling date on here, but this is a little bit lighter than the previous bottling. These are all single casks, so they're going to change from batch to batch, of course. Uh, they say that their first fill sherry casks, it says sherry hogshead, a 250 liter uh, right on the bottle here. It used to say somewhere that they were, these were nine years old. Perhaps that's dropped because they did take that away from the back of the bottle and the back of the tin here. It no longer says uh, nine years old. So We can assume that it's a little bit younger, although I will say that this is very, very good right off the hop. This is a single cask that was purchased exclusively by Sierra Springs in Alberta, 55.2%. I figured I'd put these two together because otherwise this 14 year old is pretty relevant to most viewers. It's long since sold out. I just wanna kinda of give you guys an idea of what some of these single casks are like and obviously some are better than others. Um, the cask used for this one was an ex Pinot Noir cask, all right? 14 years old versus probably eight years old maybe. Uh, gonna start over here to my right with the Sherry Bodega. Okay, on the nose, still very nice. You get that light Sherry, modern style Sherry kind of note to it. Easy drinking, modern style sherry. Very similar to, let's say, your Macallan Classic Cut, but in my opinion, a touch better. Similar style sherry influence, probably similar, similar color too. The difference is this is a single cask, so uh, these will vary a little bit more than your Macallan Classic Cut that's blended uh, with a whole bunch of different casks every year. This is a lot cheaper. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I picked this up for under $80 Canadian, which I think is a steal, and I will continue to buy this at that price if it stays at that price, but I did see in some places it going up to about 100 Canadian, so keep that in mind. Uh, I, the first time I reviewed this, I think I gave it around an 88. I'm gonna keep it there. I'm gonna keep it 87, 88. Really good stuff, and at that price, I will continue to buy it. Very, very good stuff. Over here to this single cask Pinot Noir, obviously super dark, a lot of wine influence on this one. Um, here we go on the nose. Okay, so when I first got this, I was excited, and then the next time I tried it, I picked up a bit of sulfur, and it is here. It's just not that like horrible, eggy kind of sulfur. It's borderline. It's very matchstick heavy. Something that almost approaches eggy, but not. Okay, so it's not your gross eggy kind of sulfur or that ammonia style that I get out of some whiskeys that just is not tolerable for me. But, um, on the nose, it's, it's sweet on the nose. You do get some like black berry kind of notes, red fruits. I just got a hint of chocolate on there as well. Matchstick for sure. Nothing off-putting to be honest with you, nothing overly off-putting anyway. And definitely not that eggy style uh, sulfur. It's a very tolerable kind of sulfur. On the palate. The palate is definitely sulfury. Um, lots of matchstick. Probably too much. I 
There's some berry notes there, front palette, back palette, finish. But the bulk of the mid palette is sulfur. And it does linger on the finish. Um, I think these were pretty well priced, like around $120, $130 for a 14 year old single cask, very good. It won't deter me from getting more single casks from Aaron, I bet you there's some real gems out there. Maybe it'll deter me from picking up single casks from this particular store, but definitely not deter me from picking up single casks from Aaron. Um, this has a place in the market. There are people that love this kind of whiskey. They love that dark, like super robust kind of flavor. I could just do without all that sulfur. Last sip and I'll give it a mark. Yeah, it's just too sulfur dominant for me as far as palate goes. Um, it's not like gross tasting, it's just not something that I want to enjoy. Um, so for that reason, I gotta give this like a 78. It's just not that good. Um, I've given it a long time to see if it got better and unfortunately it hasn't. It's not an indication as to what to expect from Aaron. So if you're hearing this review and you've had Aaron or you haven't had Aaron, uh, don't let this deter you because it's a single cask Pinot Noir, which is something that they don't do very often at all. Um, whereas this is a consistent bottling, this Sherry Bodega, and it's fantastic. Both that I've had from this line were incredible. The 10 is incredible, the 18 is incredible, the 21 is very good as well. So honestly, uh, do not let this, in, this review uh, deter you in any means because like I said, this one's like an 88, this one's a 78. Um, it's much older, it just happens to be a single cask that's very sulfur dominant. That's it for me guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Click the bell to get notifications for when I do release videos and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.